one of my best friends from childhood, his mother was sick for a while and she passed away in August. And I came home, they did a outdoor uh, shiva, which is the, the Jewish mourning ceremony where people get together for seven days and visit with the family. And my friend like saw me, ran up to me and he said, we have to make a movie about this. We talked a lot, a lot about the idea of uh, filmmaking as a um, means to process emotion um, and as the, the camera kind of as a third party to like help open each other up and ourselves up. So, so we ended up having conversations that we otherwise never would have had uh, the two of us. So we, the, the project ended up um, exploring kind of like the limitations of, of traditional masculinity. You know, we're, we're best friends from, I think we met in third grade and we never have had these types of intimate conversations until we brought a camera and a crew of people who were strangers to him and some new people to me. We brought him to um, a grave site that was not his actual mother's because we, weren't, we didn't get permission from the cemetery where his mother is buried to film there. So we did kind of like a reenactment of what might be the first time that he would visit his mother's grave. But once we got to the cemetery, it ended up being a very powerful moment where, where Eric did, um, you know, like was moved to tears, even though we were standing in front of a stranger's grave and it was frankly silly and funny, but it was a way to like, it opened something up for him and, and it was a very intense moment for, for both of us. Just the idea of like, making something together, um, it allows you to explore things that you're not able to explore in conversation, to, to me at least. The process was geared towards giving Eric some degree of catharsis, um, just letting him open up and like really fall apart in a way that he hasn't allowed himself to yet.